All right, well, let's continue with some indexing here and let's kind of maybe do some some weird things. What if I instead of what if I wanted to get a particular item out of a or maybe I want to get multiple items out of an array versus just one item? Because what this is doing is just getting one item item out of an array. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to set up and we're going to call this array Y. And we're going to create an array, so NP, array, a range, and I want 35 numbers in the range. And I want to, I don't want, and I'm going to immediately, instead of doing this, do the range and then shape, I'm going to, there's a function called reshape, and I want to reshape, oh, not a comma, a period, and I want to reshape this array that I am making, this 35 numbers, into a five by seven array. All right, so let's take a look and let's look at our, our Y here. And I'll also put in print Y, just so we, have, so we can see it down here as well as we start pulling things, all right? So let's run this Y, okay? So now we have Y, we see it's a five by seven array of integers. And I'm going to print that just because I want to see the whole array. And here we go. 0, 7, 14, 21, 28. So it goes 0 to 34. So those are our 35 values in the range. All right? Okay. So now I wanted to just pull specific items out of this. Well, a way to do this is, and there may be, there's always other ways of doing things. But this is the way that I've figured it out. So if I want to pull certain items out, so I'm going to pull Y and put all of this in brackets because I'm going to pull elements out of this. And I'm out of the NP array, I am going to pull, so the, remember this first piece here is the rows, right? So the first part of this is the rows. So Within that, I'm going to pull multiple items within the row. So I want to pull the first row. I want to pull something out of the second row. And I want to pull stuff out of the fourth row. Uh, not the second row. Two is the third row. Four is the fifth row. Okay, so I'm going to pull something out of the first row, the third row, and the fifth row. All right. Then we're going to put comma np array again and now so this is remember look at look at this this piece here this is um, this is designating the rows and this is going to designate the columns so i'm going to have three values on which column i'm going to take for each one of these three rows so bracket i want the first column I want the second column and I want the third column. All right. So if my logic is sound and when I run this, I'm going to pull the zero, zero, right? I'm going to pull zero, zero. This is row, column. So I'm going to pull zero. The third row, second column. So I'm going to pull 15. And then the fifth row, fourth column, so fifth row, one, two, three, fourth column, 31. So I should get 0, 15, and 31 when I run this, if my logic is sound. 0, 15, 31. So that's what this does. This thing just pulls elements out of this. All right, so if you were looking to get data for a specific day, for a specific product, for a specific store, you might, if you had an array, a big two, but you might do something like this, right? So it's a way to get a certain values out. Um, let's try a, another Y. Let's Y, and again, we're going to go NP array.
parentheses. And here I want to get the same three rows, zero, two, four, right? So the first, the third, and the fifth row. And what I want here is I want the second column. So what I wanted to, to do is I wanted to pull one, 15, and 29. So if my logic is sound, that's what should come out when I look down here. It should give me a subarray or a new array of 1, 15, and 29. 1, 15, and 29. Okay, we're getting the, getting the, getting the hang of this. All right, let's do one last one here. Y, N, P, array, parentheses. And here, I'm not going to put in any, I'm just going to put in, I want rows 0, 2, 4. So I want the first, the third, and the fifth row. And so this should give me 0 through 6, 14 through 20, and 28 through 34. So it's going to give me a, a, a 3 by 5 array of those values. So let's take a look and let's run that and see if my logic is sound. 0 through 6, 14 through 20, 28 through 34. So there my, my, my logic is sound. So just to kind of write this up and close the loop of what we did here, right? In the above examples, the first portion, and that first portion was defined as np.array parentheses 0, 2, 4 represents the rows in the five, five row by seven column array. In the first item, the first code snippet up there, the code is pulling we did this individually, it's pulling zero, zero. It's pulling two, whoops, two, one. And it's pulling four, two. Those are the things that it's pulling, right? And it's creating a new one dimensional array. It's keep creating that one dimensional array, zero, 15. Now it's not showing up here on the variable view because I didn't assign it to a variable. I'm just pulling those numbers. If I wanted to assign any of these to a variable, I would have to have a new variable, z equals, and it would create a new array. And then maybe I'd want to do some other work in that new array that I just created, but we're not going to do it that way. All right, so it created a one-dimensional array. Uh, in the second example above, is selecting the first, third, and fifth rows within, and the second column. within the array, all right? And that gave us that 1, 15, 29. So it gave us another one-dimensional array with different values in it because of the way we had arranged this. So within the second column, I wanted those three, val those three rows values. And then the last example, is pulling the first, third, and fifth rows for a three by five, three by seven, sorry, three by seven, two dimensional array. Okay. Um, more information on any of this stuff, go back to the go back to the, the website, go back to numpy.org, and there's a whole discussion in there about 
the ba under basics about indexing. So go in and take a look at some of that stuff. It'll be it will be very helpful. And a lot of this, you know, I mean, we're not going to be creating numpy arrays. We're not going to be creating random arrays, but this is just to get you in the habit of thinking about the shape of the data, how to pull specific elements of the data to the extent that you need to pull specific elements because you can use these functions on data sets that we read in around Bibitor and BCGG.